Welcome to the Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. This is Sesi Sekar Saddam working as IoT Research Associate in Miracle Software Systems. Today, our demo is control a car from anywhere through MQTT using PubSub models. Today, our agenda is introduction to the donkey car and what type of libraries we are using in this demo and what type of components we are using for the donkey car and its advantages and how we can control a donkey car by using the MQTT commands. And finally, we have a live demo. Introduction to the donkey car. Donkey is an autonomous car which can drive by itself. Donkey uses the uh, high-level deep learning algorithms. By using the Keras and TensorFlow, it will, uh, it will form a neural networks. By using the neural networks, it will form a high number of the interconnected nodes. Each node acts as a self-knowledgeable self hub. Donkey car will perform the more reliable operations on the basis of the data sets. If we generated the number of the data sets to the donkey car, it will take it will take the all the data from the data sets that are hard coded by that are hard coded by the data and will take the data and will perform the actions by using the hardware devices like a uh, uh, servo motor and the gate motor and the servo shield. By using those, they, it will perform those operations. Libraries for the donkey car. We have the many type. We have the number of the libraries that are using the donkey car. And the mainly, if we talking about the donkey car, we have the five uh, libraries which are using the donkey car. One is the Keras. Keras is a uh, deep learning algorithms which are run on the top of the TensorFlow and the Tornado. And the Tornado will be the uh, Python uh, library which will uh, useful for the decrease the computations of the mathematics, uh, math, neural mathematics. Uh, it will mostly effectively uh, on the uh, multiple matrices on, uh, on the, those type of multiple arrays and by using those things we can reduce the number of the computation of the mathematics and it is tightly coupled with the NumPy which is the predefined, uh, predefined library in the Python and the OpenCV. OpenCV is an image recognition library which will detect the objects and will, what, type of, what is the type of the object and it will, take the, it will recognize the object and will feed the data to the TensorFlow. A tensor flow will take the data and will perform the what is the operation that we needed. Tensor flow was designed by the Google and it will get, by using the tensor flow we can use the number of things like audio synthesis and the video recognition and the NLP modules. This, you can do the so many things by using the tensor flow. Donkey car and its components. We have the number of components we are using in the donkey car, but mostly in the demo we are using the gate motors the Raspberry Pi 3 and some of its components. Gate motor which is a, a simple DC motor which will take the 12 volts DC output and will, and will it acts as a forward direction or the backward direction. And the Raspberry Pi 3 is a gateway for the donkey car. It has, it has a small computational device which can perform the, all the uh, programmatical language. It will support all the most of the programmatical languages. And the servo motor is a mostly this type of the servo motor will use in the robotics era, uh, which which we need the uh, deep, uh, distinct exact uh, uh, angles, precision angles. In that the, in those type of things, we we'll use the servo motors. And we have the PCN9685 is the controlled board for the servo motors and the uh, electronic speed controller. It will exactly in the fast in the high speed of RPM. We need the motor to turn the backward from the uh, forward. In this type of scenarios, we will use the ESC controller, and we have the two types of power uh, power adapters, power chargers we have uh, to power the motor and to power the Raspberry Pi. Advantages of the donkey car: by using the donkey car, we can make the uh, RC car as it can be a, make a self-controlled self-controlled car, and we can perform any self uh, races like a DIY robo cars, which are which is the very big famous in the US markets. The, we can uh, experiment with the autopilot mode and by uh, we have the donkey car is providing the game controller by, by using the joystick controller or any web based interface we can able to control the donkey car. Donkey car controlled by the MQTT commands. 
which is developed with a small user interference by on the top of the angular when you send a small command like a forward or any backward or left or right any other command to power IBM Watson IoT uh, the robot my donkey car will subscribe to all the command what are the commands that are receiving the donkey car and if you send any command like a forward to the IBM Watson IoT my donkey car will subscribe those commands and will execute those commands by using the gate motors devices or any PC9685 those type of that by using those things it will perform those operations this all the MQT commands we are using IBM Bluemix services and this all this called as the pop sub model and we have the finally we have the live demo recorded here is the RC robot which can control by MQTT commands here we are using a raspberry pi and a simple uh, actuator motors here we are sending the commands like a MQTT commands here I am sending the forward command and if I start the forward command it will stop and again I am just giving the stop command the forward my robot will stop I am giving the backward command as well as the stop with the left command my robot will move like as forward as I am giving the command Thank you for watching The Laboratory a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash dlabs.